All right, first attempt at the Bucharest Metro. So we will be going underground here in just a second. I will say though, the above ground public transport here in Bucharest is responsible for moving more people every day than the underground. They've got trams, which you guys have seen before. It's like a train running down the middle of the road. But they've also got something that I think in 20 or 25 countries, I think Yvonne and I have never seen before. Yeah. It's the electric buses. Is it the one right there across the street? Maybe in a second we'll see one. They're pretty yeah. great because it looks like a normal bus. It's got two antennas coming out the top of it, but it's completely silent and completely clean and big cities can get hot and sweaty and air pollution. And uh, I would say good job, Romania. Yeah. First time I've seen electric buses. <laughs> it seems like the public transport here in Bucharest is pretty good. Even in, when we were in Timisoara, like street cars everywhere, buses right. everywhere. I think the public transport system is very good. But today we're going to try the metro subway system so in Bucharest. So let's go. To be clear, the Bucharest metro map looks like this. This is the underground stations and it looks pretty robust. I mean, 66 stops for a city of 2 million people. It's kind of fantastic. And I will say my favorite station is probably this one, naturally. Now, to be clear, we've never been on the metro before, so we're already lost and confused. There's a huge area down here. <laughs> Looks like I'm in some gigantic place that would be awesome for rollerblading. But we'll find out how to get tickets, and then we will uh, keep it moving. Okay, let's go. First attempt, Bucharest Metro. Five lay. Five oh, flat rate. Okay. okay, two trips, five lay. Choose your cash. Payment. Oh, cash payment not available. Okay, we go to the counter. Okay, so um, it seems like the machine was broken. We talked to one local who said, oh, it's probably broken. But then another local came and helped us buy a ticket. So we use paper cards to get in. I'm assuming if you're a local, you get a plastic card, it's reusable. We got a paper one. It's five lay flat rate. Yeah. No matter how far you go, as many transfers as you want, which is pretty incredible price, Yeah. actually. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's check the trains here. So far, so good. Friendly locals in Romania. So we are in Universite and we're going to Piata Victory and from here we're gonna transfer to another line there. All right, let's go. For like 1 o'clock p.m. on a weekday, pretty crowded. Mm -hmm. I wonder if at rush hour it's like full of people. Right. Because um, it's being used. Sure. All right, we've made it to our first transfer station. And I will say this station is entirely different design than the first one, which is surprising to me because this line was built in the 80s by the communists and my expectation was it would be sort of every station the exact same in sort of communist simple and effective design although Romania is the land of architecture yeah, so maybe true. I shouldn't be uh, surprised <laughs> the design is varying from station to station okay next we're gonna jump on the yellow line which is the original 1979 first line in Bucharest all right let's go I will say Pretty darn hot down here. So let's hurry up and find that yellow line. Keep it moving. Oh. 
All right, we made it. And yet again, the station is entirely different than the last one. I wonder if they did that on purpose and that was their intention to design every station slightly different because uh, the way the tiles are, the way the place is laid out, the way the pillars are located, everything seems to be entirely different. But anyway, let's get out and we'll do our final review. So I will say this, just to be honest, we did end up taking the two oldest lines in the metro. Hello. Romania, good. Romania, good. Yeah. I love you too, Maya, mucho. Yeah. Together. Good. Yes. Yeah, then Germania to the Philippines, no? Or to Indonesia? from Canada. Canada. Indonesia. Indonesia. One celebrity is Bine? Yeah, Bine? Okay, totally. Bine, okay. Romania, okay. Romania, Romania Bine. Bine. There you have it, guys. <laughs> Not sure what just happened there, but it seemed like a friendly guy. Yeah, oh, and honestly, the locals inside, we were like looking for confused on where to go. They were all yeah. very helpful. Yeah. Yes, good point. There was some signage and I think we could have figured it out on our own, but uh, everybody was seeing the look on our face and going, amen, go this way, amen, turn that way. Yeah. So I will say in terms of cleanliness, um, we took the two oldest lines in Bucharest and they were similar to Toronto, yeah, our hometown. The floors are kind of old. The bench has got some graffiti. The floors of the train got some gum and coffee and stuff, sort of to be expected. Maybe the newer lines are a little bit more fresh. I will say this yeah. though, How in terms of the price, Unbelievable price. Yeah. Five lei for two people means two and a half lei each person. It's like less than an American dollar. And you can go as far as you want. And because they have 66 stops all around wow. the city, uh, you can basically get anywhere you want in Bucharest for less than a dollar. Wow, that's amazing. No wonder we've had a hard time getting Uber. Probably because everyone's on the subway. Yeah, that's true. But to be fair, the Uber is also very affordable compared to other Uber subways. is also very affordable. Yeah. I will say the greatest subway in the world is Seoul, uh, South Korea. That's perfectly right. clean they have wi-fi they have everything but bucharest has done a pretty good job it's interesting that the uh, subway was built by the communists because um we've learned a lot about it. it's kind of a difficult time but they seem to build a pretty good subway the entire yellow line my understanding was built in communist era which is like a loop going around bucharest so there you have it yeah look at and this guys this is the streetcar line by the way look at all the old cables there Interesting, right? Can you see it? I wonder if your subway ticket gets you on uh, the above uh, ground as well. Yeah, I'm not too Maybe sure. Maybe a Romanian can let us know in the comments if the uh, metro ticket gets you on the above ground. I'm not sure. But Ivan is very right about these uh, cables, electric cables everywhere for the electric buses. There you have it, guys. All right, we've made it to our destination. Stay tuned for our next video. We're going to a traditional market, but yeah. it is cooking hot. And then we need to stop for a Woo! cold drink first. Yes, let's cold go. Cold drink and then traditional market. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.